Good morning. It is about nine o'clock and we're going to go fishing. We've got some clouds that are kind of looking like it might rain a little bit. Check the forecast. Should blow over within an hour. But the name for the new kayak, it's over there in the back of the truck, the blue one, the Old Town Topwater 120 PDL. It's a mouthful. I wanted a nickname for it. And last week I asked you guys to leave a nickname for the kayak. And the new name for the kayak is the Slab Cab. It had a lot of likes, and I think it's a pretty clever name. I'm a big crappie fisherman at this point in my life. Used to bass fish all the time, and uh, just recently, last year, I got into crappie fishing, and I've kind of gotten hooked on it. So the new kayak's name is the Slab Cab. But today, we're going to be heading out, doing some fishing, and trying to catch some crappies. We're going to go to that same lake I fished in the last fishing video, because... Is pretty productive, but we're gonna be a little bit more mobile and move around the lake and fish some different brush piles. We had a cold snap come through last week. Things are warming up. We had some rain come through last night. So I'm not sure what's gonna be going on on the water, but we'll get out there and hopefully be catching some fish. I'm kind of thinking that I should have waited to come out here. Um, looks like we'll have a little bit of rain off and on. It's not too bad. It's a little chilly. Glad I had this jacket in my truck but we got what what do we call it the slab cab oh now it's really gonna rain now it's raining do we just go full send I think we could it's not gonna rain that hard I don't think this is the decision that could haunt me it just rained Ah, we'll, we'll give it a full send. Come on, let's go. So, we got the uh, slab cab all loaded down, got the basic crappie gear and depth finder and all that. So, we'll hit up some brush piles and see where the fish are at, see what the water temp is after this cold snap last week. But, I don't know, it's up in the air. We're going to have a little bit of rain off and on, but I think it's a good day to be fishing. So, let's get out on the water. Ooh. Okay, that water's cold today. Well, it looks like there's still some fish over here by this brush pile. And water temp has dropped down like 7 degrees since two weeks ago. Um, that's a little chilly. But we'll, we'll jig around this brush pile. This is where I caught most of my fish the last time I was here. And this brush pile here is a lot deeper than the rest of them that I found. So... I kind of figured this might be a better spot to be given the conditions that we're fishing in today. That's a fish right there. Got a nice little crappie. They're biting. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Nice little hit right on the brush pile. Pretty standard crappie for this lake. A little small actually. I was catching some that are a little bigger than that, but first fish of the day, I think we might have some decent luck. Dropped it down probably about seven feet right over top of the brush pile. The brush pile, top of it's about eight feet. So, not trying to get snagged up on anything here, but if you're not getting snagged up, you're not crappie fishing. Gosh, it's wanting to be a nice day. There's a lot of blue sky to the south. We're just right underneath the little rain cloud here. I've got a feeling it'll pass over and it'll be pretty decent fishing today. But 51 degrees, almost 52 water temp. That's that's a big drop from two weeks ago. But we had a really big cold front come through and I was hoping it wouldn't have dropped that much. But I guess that's just how it goes. So that's, that's just a bunch of fish right there. Looking... 8 to 12 feet. We'll give that a shot. There it is. <sighs> Once you figure it out, it's actually really fun because what you have to do, and this is me speaking as a newbie, I've figured out once you find them on the depth finder, like there's fish marked at 11 feet. You want your jig down right in front of their face, and then they'll hit it. So 
it's like almost like a video game. You gotta get get it just right. You can't be below them. You can be above them a little bit, but whoa, what do we got going on there? It's all about getting the right depth. Come on, son. I see you. You're coming. Let's go. So the bait of choice right now is this black puddle jumper. And uh, I was catching a lot of fish on these puddle jumpers last time I was out here. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I'd go fishing with my dad in Minnesota. We'd take family vacations up there and we'd... Uh, rent a boat and stay in a cabin for a week and spend the week fishing and riding bikes on trails and stuff but I remember one day in particular we just absolutely destroyed crappies and we caught them on these puddle jumpers so ever since then it's kind of been a bait that I've wanted to use for crappies you know I'm sure all you guys have those kind of experiences where in the past you catch a bunch of fish one day on this one bait and and you're like, oh, that's that's the bait. That is the one that you need to catch fish. Like, that's probably a ball of crappies. Ooh, I had a bite there. I was like, oh, that's a good spot to be. Let's see if I can get him back. There he is. Oops, sorry guys, hit you in the face. Still no giants. I think this is a good lake for numbers. If you're wanting to just go out and catch some fish, have some fun, this is a pretty decent lake, but it just doesn't have the size of fish like you would get in like a reservoir or anything like that. I'm sure there's some pretty decent sized females down in here, but they're probably a lot deeper than what I'm fishing at this point which I've never been able to catch them out deep. Oh shoot, that was either a brush pile or a fish. Do you guys have any tips for finding the big females pre-spawn when they're out deep? I've always wanted to give it a go, but never had any luck doing that. There we go. Oh, that one's a little better. Catching the crappies on the brush pile. Yeah, this one's probably the best one of the day. Not super giant, but decent little fish. Yeah, so we're fishing in about 13 feet of water. These fish are between like seven and nine feet down. Ooh, that one feels good. That is a good one. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow. That's the best one of the day right there. Nice little black crappie. Shoot, dang. If we were doing a catch and cook, I'd keep that guy, but no time today. It's good fish. Blue skies, that's what I'm talking about right there. What are you? Little ditch pickle. Ow, got a hook in my hand. So that's what's hanging out down there. Well, blue skies and the sun is shining it feels so good catching some fish the fish are in about 15 feet of water on some brush down there but I hate to make a video of fishing the same brush pile over and over again but I don't think these fish are up shallow enough to fish those other brush piles I found this is the deepest one and with the water temp being 52 degrees I doubt they're up in the seven to nine foot depth so I think we'll just keep hitting this brush pile 
I tried fishing along the rocks here and you know I'm not seeing anything that looks super promising but we'll keep fishing tried to switch up to a little uh, Bobby Garland little slim tail minnow thing and we're gonna try that for a while and see how that works out but I'm very pleased with how this is going I mean we've only been fishing for like an hour or so and we've caught like four or five fish but no big females yet maybe i'll try and fish a little deeper and see if we can find those females but if you guys have any tips for finding the big females down deep and how to fish for them drop it down in the comments i'd love to hear it especially with the way the water temps are everything's in pre-spawn still so it is what it is but i know those females are deeper than the ones i'm catching so let me know what do you guys do to catch the females pre-spawn when they're down in like 20 to 25 feet Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, just a little straight tail. I don't even know what you call these things, but I got them on that. There is another one. They're stacked up down there. Yeah, that one's a little better. Let's see if we can go get a third one out of there. Might be a little far out there, but let's sink. They're just hugging this brush pretty tight. Seems like. There it is. Yeah, that's where they're at, right on that brush pile. almost too easy you just toss her out there let her sink down another one yep you can see on the electronics hopefully but that's all that brush pile down there and these Crappies are just sticking tight right on that. Let's see if I can get another one right off that brush. Yep. We're getting into them thick now. Holy smokes. Take that one off and toss it right back out there. Here we go. Let's see if I can get another hit. Yep, it's a good day to be out crappie fishing today. Yep. No giants. I'm still waiting on the giants. That's gonna catch a fish. I guarantee it. I know the saying is don't leave fish to find fish, but that's what we're about to do. I've had enough of this brush pile. I'm catching a bunch of them. But I want to challenge myself. I want to go and explore some of these other brush piles. Maybe see if something's on them. And maybe explore a couple of new places that I haven't been on this lake. And maybe find a new brush pile that might be a little deeper. But um, if we're not catching anything, I'm going to probably come back over here and hopefully catch a couple more. There's just so much structure down here and so many crappies. It's unreal. It's just a good day of fishing when you're on this brush pile. So... We're going to scoot across and hopefully find a few brush piles over there. I know a couple of them that might have some good potential. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. But I'm having a heck of a time out here. This is great. Finally catching some fish. Even though the water temp is 52 degrees, we're still catching them. And we've got them patterned down. So might as well try and find another spot and see if we can find some big females. I'm also curious about the other side of this lake if it's a little warmer than this side. I remember last time I fished it, that side was warmer than this side, so who knows what's gonna happen over here. But I've only explored kinda up to that bend. You guys probably can't even see it, but there's a decent little bend out there and goes back into a cove. Never explored it, but 
Might be a good day. Every time I shoot across this main part of the lake, I see so many fish on the depth finder. Just makes me wonder what kind of fish those are. Are they catfish? Are they walleyes? What are they? I know they say there's walleyes in here, but I don't know. It's Kansas. It's kind of hit or miss on some lakes, but I would like to get on some walleyes eventually. In the past, when I've caught walleyes in Kansas, it's just kind of been a fluke. It's like crappie fishing. Oh, I just hooked into a walleye. So it is what it is. I don't know enough about it. It might be the next thing I try once I master this crappie fishing deal and uh, learn something new. I'm, I'm always wanting to learn new things and try new things in the outdoors. So I find enjoyment in it. I really do. Okay. I don't think there's any crappies on this side. It's too shallow. Water temp is like, I don't know, maybe a degree and a half warmer over here, but I think it's just too shallow. I saw a brush pile down over here around this bend that it might be a little deeper than those over there, but I don't know. I need to find something in the 15 to 20 foot range, I think. And those were all in like six to 10 feet. Not gonna cut it today. That's a good one. I found a brush pile and it looks saucy. That's a good crappie there. Ooh, let's drop this guy down. Yeah, I'm glad I spotted this thing. This little stump was sticking out of the water here. So we got a couple of things going on here. Water temp is up about two degrees from that first spot we were at. We're in about 10, 11 foot of water around this brush pile. And there's some fish on this thing. So um, I think those brush piles over there along that bank, they were just a little bit too shallow. But I think this 10 foot mark here, 10, 11 foot, dropped the jig down about seven feet or so. That should be the ticket, because that's where I was, oh shoot, dang it. There's a lot of tree limbs down here. Holy smokes. There we go. Oh, that's a crappie. Okay. Yeah, they're on that brush pile down there. I've just kind of been bouncing it across the tops of the trees. The sticks down there, I can feel them. I've just kind of been bouncing that jig right over the top of them. That one feels decent. Oh, it's because it's a bluegill. That's a big old bluegill. Just like that. I don't think that brush pile is holding very many fish. Caught a couple crappies and one bluegill, but I still think it's a little shallow. So I'm gonna try and hit that first spot that we went to a few more times, catch a couple more fish before we get off the water for the day. but. We've been killing it today. We caught a lot of crappies, and um, I think things are heating up for the spring. We're just waiting for that water temp to go back up into the 60s, and then we'll be chasing that crappie spawn. It'll be a freaking blast. But let's head down, check out that first brush pile we hit up, and see if we can catch a few more. Ooh, that one feels nice. That's a good one. I knew coming back to this brush pile would produce. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one for this lake. Let's see if we can find another one down there. Ooh. 
There's another one. I don't know why I tried to fish anywhere else. This is obviously the best spot on this lake. There's so many crappie. I think it's just a really big brush pile at like the perfect depth for the water temp. And you can, I'm all tangled up here. It's like the perfect depth for a brush pile this time of year. And it's producing. Like look, here's a bunch of fish on the down scan. Ooh, I got a hit. Here it is. Just over and over and over on this thing. This is freaking awesome. No gigantors yet, but give it some time. Let things warm up a little bit. I think we'll be in business. Ooh, that's a good one. Not. <laughs> I can't wait for the day that I hook into like a two pound crappie because, you know, I think some of these guys feel decent, but I've got a feeling when I hook into an actual big one, <laughs> I'm a freak. Yeah, there we go. Another crappie on the jig down on that brush pile. Just that little straight, little general roux. Or, sorry, Bobby Garland. Oh my gosh, I keep screwing those up. Tell you what, this brush pile sure does produce. I don't know why I ever left it. But I think within the next coming weeks, we're going to start seeing fish moving up a little shallower and the fishing's going to heat up. Well, we're officially off the water, and it was a good day of fishing, I'll tell you that. Started off a little rainy, a little cold, but sun finally poked through, and we caught a bunch of fish. Man, those crappies wanted to bite today. So, I've got my fingers crossed here within the next couple of weeks. We get some more fish moving up shallow, and uh, the bite heats up. But we're still pre-spawn at this point, but I think we're doing pretty good. We're getting the hang of it and we're catching a bunch of fish and that's all I could ever ask for. I mean, this is freaking awesome. But I really, really, really do like this lake a lot. It's very manageable with my kayak and um, you know, I, I would definitely fish here again. My only thing is I wish the crappies in this lake were a little bit bigger, but you know, catching them, you can't complain about that. Maybe once water temps start heating up a little bit more, we'll hit a bigger lake and hopefully we'll be able to find a little bit more success when it comes down to finding bigger fish. But, you know, for this being such a manageable lake in the kayak, we got a good deep brush pile, we're catching fish, why not keep coming back? I mean, that's the, that's the main point is to catch fish, and that's what we're doing. I just wish they were a little bit bigger, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We'll just have to wait and watch the weather, see what water temps are doing, and hopefully the bigger reservoirs will start heating up soon. I can get in one of like the branches on one of those and get up in there out of the wind and hopefully catch some crappies on some brush piles. But it is, it is what it is. Loving the kayak. This is my first season really using this pedal drive kayak. And boy, howdy, is it awesome. Um, you know, I did a lot of fishing last year in the green kayak and the canoe, but having the pedal drive system just makes a world of difference when you're trying to stay on top of brush piles and spend more time fishing instead of time paddling, trying to adjust yourself. 
it just makes a world of difference and I absolutely love it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're looking to get a new hat, maybe one for turkey hunting, got these on the website. So if you want one of those, there's a link in the description. You can go pick one up and help support the channel. It means a lot to have you guys support and have you guys watching the videos. So we'll see what the rest of the week brings. Maybe I'll go turkey hunting. We might have some mushrooms popping up. But we'll just have to wait and see what this week has in store for us. And I'll take you guys on the next adventure. But that's all I've got for today. Got to head back home, take care of some business. And I will see you guys on the next one.